What up people, this is Eric aka DJ Barney and welcome back to my videos. This is actually a special video by request. It's actually a how-to. Everybody's been asking me how do I connect all my stuff. Uh, this is not the only way to do it. This is my way to do it. But the main reason people comment is how to use a mixer in all your setup. This is the best option in my point. So I'm going to show you guys how I used to connect all my stuff straight from my controller to the speaker without using the mixer and then I'm going to show you guys how I connect all my stuff with the mixer and why it's a great idea to invest in a mixer. I'm actually using a Pioneer SR and these are the components to them. It's a off and on button, I mean switch, and then the USB which I run the USB straight onto my laptop which gives it the power. And then these are the quarter inch, which I used to use this one straight to my speaker. So that would give it the sound sending it out to the speaker. I didn't use the RCAs. I'm gonna show you guys how I used to use the quarter inch and how I switched to the RCAs in a little bit. And then the booth and master. And then this is the booth level. And then this is the aux, the level. And then I would usually connect this straight to my laptop just in case I wanted to play um, from iTunes or YouTube. So with that simple setup, this is how it would sound. And honestly, it's not bad, especially without using the mixer. But I'm going to show you guys why I switched over to the mixer and how I connect my mixer now with all my setup. So this is the mixer that I purchased. It's a Yamaha MG10XU. And the reason for the U is because of the USB it uses, which you connect it straight to your laptop. But this is an actual 10 channel mixer. The reason I got a 10 channel mixer was Honestly, because of all the effects and we do karaoke, so it was a multi-purpose. It wasn't just for my DJing, but this is the one I got. Uh, there's plenty of other ones. There's a uh, Behringer, Mackie, Yamaha. They have a smaller ones, like a six channel. Those are like under a hundred bucks. So you guys could, I'll probably put the link on the description of all the different ones that they have. But to me, this is the best one because you have multiple channels. You could connect all kinds of stuff just in case someone else wants to connect something else to your stuff. You could go ahead and do that. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how I went over from my controller over to the mixer. And it's simple. So you take out the quarter inch and you put it on your output. This sends out the sound. To your speaker and what I added was an RCA cable I connected the master over to one of the channels make sure that the mixer you have has RCA because not all of them have the RCA so this one has two actually and I'm gonna show you why I got this one because of these two so I took the aux cable, instead of running it through here, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you guys why. And I connected it to the other channel. So this is how it sounds with everything connected straight to the mixer. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna get copyright for that. So that's how it sounds. It's not complicated i know it's overwhelming with everything but i'm gonna show you guys why it's a great idea to invest in a mixer just in case this happens so this is the reason why i think you guys should invest in a mixer for instance you're playing right let's say the controller gives out your laptop freezes something happens and it kills the music from everything literally connected to your controller to the speaker, you're literally gonna have no sound. And meanwhile, you're getting all this fixed, everything's gonna be silent. 
which it has happened to me and it's the most awkward embarrassing feeling ever so this is the reason why i feel you guys should invest in a mixer let's say that happens you at least have your phone ipad ipod let's say that's happening you come to your phone So meanwhile, you're getting everything situated over here and trying to fix what's going on. You at least have that as a backup to play music, probably have a playlist ready. That is the main, main reason I think you guys should invest in a mixer. Like I said, you guys don't need a big mixer like mine or a medium sized mixer like mine. A four controller, six controller would be perfect as long as there's RCAs. You should be fine because you can connect your controller onto this. I don't know how other controllers work, but the SR, that's my way of mixing, of connecting everything and mixing everything together. Like I said, I've been in situations where it made me think, how should I do it? Nobody taught me this, and this is the reason why I'm showing you guys why you guys should invest in a mixer instead of hooking everything up from your controller. So that was my way of connecting everything. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If this could help someone you know, make sure you share it with them. Because like I said, this is not the only way to do it. This is my way to do it. There's plenty of other ways. There's probably other videos, which I still haven't seen. But like I said, for you guys that have been requesting it, here you go. This was my uh, way of connecting everything. And in the comments below, also let me know how you guys connect your stuff. If this is similar to what you guys have or did i miss anything like i said let's all connect in the in the comments below so just in case you guys have any more videos let me know i'm willing to do it like i said i'm trying to do away with the gig logs for now since i don't have so many gigs coming up i want to do more dj related stuff so make sure you like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell and all that fun stuff and remember guys no matter what happens stay positive peace